But yeah. anyway, sorry, Paul. You can explain to everybody oh, what no, 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 no. You're fine for our for our draft for our inaugural draft here on the Kicking Out podcast. I was hoping it would be all three, but that's all right. We're not going to put it off. We're going to go ahead and get started. It'll be Tanner and I, and we are each drafting five individuals to the AEW women's roster from any sport at all. Doesn't have to just be wrestling. If you wanted to bring in Ronda Rousey, you could. I just no, use her, but yeah, no. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, you could bring is... in Caitlin Clark if you wanted to. Well, I am the champ, so I'm picking first. Yeah, and I, and I am going with Caitlin Clark because I, I who, who's the bigger name right now in, the, in in women's athletics than Caitlin Clark? Even though Team USA is like, nah, we, we we're not gonna put her on the roster this year for the Olympics. How stupid can you be? Um, yeah, I don't. I think the WNBA backlash, the players' backlash against Kayla Clark's absurd. They're getting more notoriety and recognition than they ever have as a league, and they need to embrace it. And and what I like about her is she's keeping her mouth shut. She's just playing her game, and it's working for her. And I think she'd be a lot of fun. She and, did uh, into wrestler. She did put out one tweet uh, this week. I thought acknowledging something that she did. Didn't she? Uh, she might have. I, I don't know if I follow her on X. Um, but I know for the most part, she's just kind of, she, she pretty much, they're, they're, they're trying to bait her into saying stuff about other people, not her players, and she won't do it. So, yeah. Uh, all right. Who else you got? Oh, uh, you can, you can go now. I thought we, fl- I thought we'd rotate. Oh, okay. One yeah, one we can so do that. Way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Um, I have no idea who that is, Majin. Uh, darn it. I, I thought I could find that tweet fast enough. Uh, <laughs> looks like it's been deleted because it was from the last couple days, and it is not there anymore. All right. Um, well, you know, she... Uh, may be a little older and not a whole lot of people talk about her, but I'm going to go Serena Williams. That's a good one. It's a good one. Yeah. She's one of the best female athletes of all time. Um, yeah. I and mean, she's built pretty well, pretty muscular. So she could yeah. fit right in the ring, take some bumps. So, Yeah. Uh, my number two pick, I'm going to go with uh, gymnast Simone Biles. Oh, man. I think she'd be fun as a high flyer in the women's division. Yeah. Yeah, that was my second pick. <laughs> um, uh, all right, let's see here. Majin? Sure. Since you got rejected this week, we'll let you throw in some names. Why not? You get five women from any sport. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stick in tennis just because, again, she draw in some eyes. Anna Kornikova. Yeah, she definitely draw in some eyes. I thought you were going there or Maria Sharapova, but Maria was a lot better player because Anna Kornikova was not a good player. Uh, I know. Let's be honest, but but she did draw in a lot of eyes. Yeah, Steph, you can too. Yeah, if anybody wants to throw in some names, yeah, go for it. That's what this is for. Um, my number three, maybe just because she's a big Denver Bronco fan. No, she's, and she is a great athlete. She's a professional skier, Lindsey Vaughn. Okay. All right. I can get behind that one. And she used to date Tiger Woods at <laughs> one time. <laughs> um, well, Steffi just took my next one too. Yeah, there you go. Now you could throw it in there, Paul. That's all right. Yeah. All right. All right. Danica Patrick. Because, I mean, the woman's good at anything she does. So I think with enough training, she'd be good at the ring. Yeah, she was really good at IndyCar. Yes. Uh, was respectable at, say, NASCAR. I mean, that's yeah. a little tougher transition. It was. Uh, it was. But, um, but yeah. 
Uh, so I need two more here. I'm not going to go Ronda Rousey because she already had a, had a oh, yeah. career. Um, let me see here. Um, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, okay. You know, I feel like it's just a matter of time before a woman's soccer player gets picked. So I'm going to go Alex Morgan. Okay. Okay. Uh, for my fourth pick, and I might get some hate for this one, but Maya Lesnar. Oh, oh, I know. I like that. I didn't even think about that. I like that. Yeah, that's a good one. That might be a steal the draft. That that is a steal the draft. That's a good one. Yeah, I like that one. I think she could be as dominant as her dad was. Um, oh, I wouldn't say that. Dominant. I I think she not could be in a the dominant same. Female. Respect as her dad, but I mean, as big of a name when it comes to dominating people. Okay. All right. All right. There. Um, Mod said Hillary Knight. Uh, okay. Said nurse. Uh, let's see here. Okay. I got one more. I'm trying to try to pull a rabbit out of a hat here. I'm trying to think is there any females that we've seen? No, I'm not going with Snooky or anything like that. She's not an athlete. Oh, I'm not doing no. that. We saw her in WrestleMania. Yeah, no. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Trying to think. Uh, there's other soccer players I could go with back in the day, but mm-hmm. they're all kind of at age now. Um, man, man. Uh, hmm. It can't. I'm not gonna say Paige Van Zandt. That would be an easy one, but I'm not gonna say that because we saw her yeah. in one match. She is officially not on the AW roster anymore. By the way. No, she is not. Um, she has been removed. Shoot. All right. Um, All right. I got my fifth. Well, let's see here. I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna go with another another former WNBA player because I think she's she could be a physical person in the ring, and she's got. Good size to her as far as height. Candace Parker. Okay. All right. Um, from Team USA in softball, uh, part of the 2023 national team from Mississippi State, where she graduated, hails from Hillsboro, North Carolina, and all this information is available where I found her <laughs> name at. I didn't go stalk her. Uh, catcher for Team USA, number 33, Maya Davidson. All right. You did the Team USA, taking my yeah. Team USA, so I went to a sport that nobody talks about much and went softball. Yeah, if, if we were talking early 2000s softball, I'd go Jenny Finch. Jenny Finch was kind of the first. Okay, yeah. I remember yeah. she was kind of, the, as a kid, the first female athlete that came out like, that caught everybody's attention as far as like looks. Um, mm-hmm. yeah, and that could be a fun you know, a softball player could be a fun, like if they incorporate in a gimmick, like with a bat or throwing softball, well, not literally throwing softballs because you could like kill somebody, but I don't know. You could have fun with that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, Majin, they don't. I guess, I guess for your comments, they don't have to be athletes, but that's just what Paul and I were doing. Right. Uh, Stevie said Medusa. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, and then I have an honorary one, and everybody can hate me for this one. Liv Morgan. Yeah. I think she would be a better fit in AEW than she is in WWE. Oh, she's as hot as a character. <laughs> as hot as a character <laughs> right now she's ever been. So. Oh, does your wife know you think like that? She wouldn't care. But, uh, <laughs> but, but she's single. She's single. <laughs> she, yeah, yeah. No, uh, no Uncle Howdy for her anymore, huh? Uh, no. Uh, according to her, they weren't an item. I thought they were. I think everybody everybody thought. thought they were, and I think it's Flair's fault. He's probably drunk, and they probably hugged each other as a high, and he went, oh, yeah, they're together. Aren't they married now? 
I really wish AW wasn't doing anything with them. But <laughs> here we are. Woo! Energy. Uh, I'll do my non athletes and honorary one, Danielle Fischel. LOL. I'm okay. scared to Google that one with the LOL. Because I don't know who she is, but I'm scared to Google that one, Majin. I'll Google. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, did you not know that? How did I not know that? It's Topanga. Oh, my gosh. That was... I didn't know her, her real name or true name. But yeah, she's a huge wrestling fan. Yeah, yeah. She Boy, said World she some wrestling on it. Yeah, she had said she would take a body slam or something from yeah, somebody. Like that That's a good one. That's a good one. All right, Majin was cleaner than I thought he would be. Vader was on there. Yep. Yep. As uh, the bully, the bully, not bully's dad. Was it Mick Foley on there, or was that a different? Uh... Different. He made a cameo on something. Um, yeah, I thought it was Boy Meets World. I know Vader was, but I thought Foley was as Mankind. Uh, Mankind was on some some sitcom. I don't know. You know, Billy Gunn was on a episode of Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Yes. Yeah, that's crazy. That I knew. I don't know. You you I'm... search it and it just brings up his cameo thing. Okay. All right. That's what it was. She wants to be put through a table. Yes. Gina Carano is Majin's last one. Okay. All right. All right. A lot of good names out there. Well, he was on Boy, Me- Boy Meets World. Mon said, "All right, okay." Yeah, I knew I was. Was all crazy. right. It was one of the college episodes. Oh, okay, okay. All right. All right. After Feeney Mon- decided to become a college professor, because and I need to go back and watch that show again. That's such a good show. Oh, it was such a good show. The Feeney call. 